What's on the answer is my name is Mini Studios and welcome to book review number two. Now for this one I've chosen another book, another naval novel, and it's Killing Ground by Douglas Weeman. This book was written in 1991. Uh, the edition I've got is a 2007 edition. Uh, the original was published by High Sea Authors Limited and the 2007 version which I've got here published by Owl Books. Uh, the main story of the book is you follow G-Class destroyer Atomus Gladiator, commanded by Lieutenant Commander David Howard, during the Battle of the Atlantic and the Western Approaches during 1942 and 1944. Now, this period was the hardest in the entire war, pretty much everywhere, actually, and destroyers were overworked, uh, worn out, it didn't have the right equipment, and the U-boats were running wire. What compounded the problems was the convoys to Russia. Basically, Russia had to be supplied, supplied, and convoys went from Britain all the way up around Norway to Murmansk or Archangel. Uh, the equivalent of this is Germ the Germans trying to send a convoy up the Thames Estuary. Um, basically, there were Germany boats, Norwegian aircraft, German aircraft. Um, survival rates were quite low. One in three. Um, for this one, and that's the one that Hector's Gladiator is on in this book. The main areas this subject talks about is, of course, uh, the Western approaches, the Arctic convoys, um, freezing hell that these blokes went through in real life. But this book doesn't also examine the British side with the destroyers, it also mentions the German side as well with the U boat commander. And basically their trials and tribulations to get through the war without getting themselves killed at the same time. Killing Ground follows the very well drawn path used by Douglas Freeman where it's basically a ship is pitted up against overwhelming odds and they somehow come, come out the end of it battered but alive. Douglas Freeman joined the Royal Navy in 1941. He joined up during the Second World War and he was twice mentioned in dispatches. He served on coastal duty and motor torpedo boats. The book, as well as many other books like it, especially Freeman novels, um, talks about the shortness of life, how short life can be, where sometimes life's pattern was mentioned in years, but in months or even weeks. Sometimes, if on the Arctic convoys and Atlantic convoys, for that matter, death was always around the corner. These guys, death was anywhere. It could come from air attack. It could come from from below them, or it could come from surface shipping. These guys never, or just the elements themselves, the weight of ice crashing down on the ships, breaking the ships back. Um, so death could come from anywhere, and. And these guys had to maintain their ship and watch out for that in temperatures that could reach minus 10, minus 15, particularly on the Arctic convoys. To for many of them to go up on these convoys, maybe four or five times. But I will say this book is not in the same league as The Cruel Sea by Nicholas Monserrat or HMS Lewis's by Anston McLean. But it's it's up there, as well as the other Weeman novels, and indeed HMS Marathon, which I've recorded in a previous video. I'll put the annotation up there somewhere for you. But in conclusion, I would say The Killing Ground is a book worth reading. It is a book really worth looking for and finding um, if you are interested in the Battle of the Atlantic and if you are interested in naval warfare in general. But yeah, that's all I've got to say. This has been Menace's book review number two. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you guys have any ideas of books I should review next, please write them down in the comments below. And I will endeavour to get the book, read them, and do a review on it. So uh, all I've got to say now is thank you guys very much for watching the video. If you like it, please give it a little bit of a little just let know you appreciate it a little bit. And uh, press the subscribe button at the same time. I'll be in the studios. Thank you very much, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.